Hi, it's Louise from Spiral Bright Insight and this is a short um, video just to tell you about the energies that we are coming up against on Wednesday this week, which will be the 6th of December. Now the sun is going to reach 14 degrees of Sagittarius, which is a cosmic point in galactic astrology called the Great Attractor. Now the Great Attractor is, um, it acts as a black hole. It has a huge pulling magnetic force to it. And um, really these cosmic points are very much about giving us access to higher consciousness, being able to see life from a much sort of higher perspective, bigger picture perspective and um, they really stretch our energy and pull us back towards divine and um, source consciousness and source energy so when we have the sun which is you know the brightest luminary it's going to empower it's going to brighten up it's going to light up it's going to switch on this cosmic point for us all and um, this is about us being um waken awoken waken up shaken up if you like um to cosmic truths to the truth about what um what is our world um there is a very strong focus on psychic energy and psychic ability and intuitive ability because when the great attractor is activated we can basically see everything so anybody with the great attractor in their chart is going to have um, direct access to cosmic and galactic um, and higher perspective wisdom but this really is an opportunity for us all to get a taste of it and um, so it's about being able to see what is hidden the great attractor can bend light and time and um, it is about truth and it is about um, us having a much bigger perspective now it is a short transit the exact transit or the exact conjunction is on the 6th but what makes this day particularly um more powerful is the fact that neptune is going to station direct now neptune is in pisces it is a slow moving outer planet so this is a very long and slow drawn out transit and um, but neptune has been going retrograde for the past few months and on wednesday it stations direct now Neptune is the planet that represents um, our hopes, our dreams, it represents our imagination, our spiritual sides, um, really everything that is not tangible, that can't be touched or um, sort of yeah, held down, fixed. Especially in Pisces, this is very fluid, very imaginative, very visionary energy that Neptune is working through. And of course, Pisces being the last sign of the zodiac is also very significant because this is the end of a cycle for Neptune. Now, Neptune is going to remain in direct motion right the way through to the 29 degree point of Pisces. So the very last final degree point in the zodiac and that will um, happen in July next year, possibly the end of June. Um, at which point it will go retrograde because it's still got some work to do. But the 29 degree point, I've talked about this in other videos, is the anoretic degree or crisis degree or the point of mastery. So there can be a lot of chaos when any planet, particularly the outer planets, reach this point um, because it, there is a sense of having to complete and master that energy before it moves on into the new. Now, for Neptune, that means a completely new cycle because it will be moving into Aries. Now, there's quite a lot of exciting um, transits and conjunctions happening next year. So at some point, I will come on and talk about those. Um, but just for coming back to the 6th of December. Now, when Neptune moves direct, it can really take us beyond the physical realm. So again, you know, if you combine this with the great attractor being activated as well, you know, this is a very spiritual day. It could feel quite otherworldly, very dreamlike. It's going to be really hard um, to really kind of work out what's real and what's not. So, um, really hard to pin down any sense of reality on this day um it's an opportunity for us to tap into the unseen 
to um, hear messages that perhaps that we've not been able to hear before. And um, if you are a psychic intuitive already, you're going to find those gifts are strengthened, but potentially everybody is going to be feeling more intuitive and more sensitive. Um, but there is a potential for overwhelm as well, because when Neptune, it's a big planet, it's grinding to a halt before it changes direction. Um, you know, there can be a very high level of confusion. Um, now, Neptune is stationing direct at 24 degrees of Pisces. So, um, you know, this is we are in the final deacon of Pisces as it's now going to move towards the 29 degree point that I've said. So, you know, this is very much about dissolving um, our reality, if you like, and um, very karmic energy. And um, it's going to be quite hard to um, assert any boundaries while Neptune is so strong in Pisces. Um, and, you know, there's going to be a huge focus on faith, on spirituality, about what spirituality is and um, creativity will be heightened, compassion for all and also breaking down this, um, well, a continued breaking down of the duality that we are experiencing in our world because Neptune and Pisces, Pisces in particular, is the sign of one, of unity consciousness. And um, so this is what we are working towards. Now, we also have a square with the galactic centre, which is at 27 degrees of Sagittarius. So as Neptune stations forward motion, it's going to come up to that exact square again. And with the square to the galactic centre, which is another one of the very powerful cosmic points in Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. This is about really breaking down what we thought we knew about our world and really um, challenging our ideas, our visions, our um, ideals, even our imagination about what is possible when we sort of extend um, out to a more cosmic, galactic, collective perspective. So these are both signs, Sagittarius and Pisces are both signs of spiritual growth. Um, and, you know, this is really a time when our um, when our belief system, when our ideals and um, everything is going to be challenged and everything is shifting. So it really is a time for us to start to learn more and understand more about our history, about who we are, about how we fit into the world and about our evolutionary path. Now, if you're watching a video like this, I would imagine that you're already on that path and you kind of know what I'm talking about. But certainly, you know, as these are outer planets and these are collective transits, this is going to have an impact and an influence on everybody. So nobody is immune. Um, so this is a really huge time of awakening. But I just felt it was it feels like a strong energy day on Wednesday. So um it's always useful for us to know what's coming up. So, you know, if you do find it hard to ground, generally, I would suggest that you try um, and sort of up your protection and your grounding techniques on Wednesday if you can. Um, you know, you can do that just by getting out in nature, by making direct contact with the earth, with your bare feet. You can wear red. Red is a very grounding colour. You can eat very grounding food. So root vegetables, for example, are very grounding um, and really try and come into your body as much as possible. So it's a great day to do stretching and yoga and Tai Chi or anything that sort of brings you out of the mind into your body because there's going to be a lot going on in our minds, in our heads, and it might feel very overwhelming and confusing. Um, but remember, it's a transit. You know, we are not um, designed to stay in a fixed state. So everything shifts. Everything is transitory. Everything is changing. So, um, you know, the energies will shift and evolve and things will move on. So I hope you found that useful. You can find out about my work at spiralbright.co.uk. And um, yeah, I wish you um, a fantastic week. <music>